Hey guys, what's happening in this video? I'm going to be talking to you about resizing images without the need for Photoshop, confusing or complex tools, and essentially using a free website um, that has so many amazing features, okay? So you may want to you know, resize images for all different purposes. You may have just grabbed an image uh, from the internet. You may have got a royalty free. You may be creating a logo um, and you want to repurpose these images for, you know, different social media profiles, profile images, cover images, thumbnails. You may want them for your blogs, your websites, whatever. Okay. And the ability to take one image that is just a portrait and chain and uh, crop it into a landscape or you know just slightly move you know those dimensions slightly um, you know for most people they might be thinking it is completely out of touch but trust me this is super easy okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and find an image um, that I find interesting that might be useful for this demonstration so I've just gone across to pexels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S.com. This is where you can get royalty free images and some of them are out of this world. So it's worth checking out if you need images for basically anything. Now I've just gone for a road scene and this one's caught my eye. So I'm gonna go for this and you can see it's a free download. I'm gonna pull the drop down and you can, you can get all these different sizes. So for the purposes of what I'm going to show you. I'm just going to go for the small, I think. Um, and I'm going to click download photo. Okay. So that's uh, downloaded to my uh, desktop on my computer. And now I'm going to jump across to Canva, C A N V A dot com. Now, this is a free to use graphics service that does have pro versions and um, you know, other upgrades that you can use, but for the basics, it's free, okay? And there's loads of templates, as you can see here. Um, they've got templates for lots of different sizes, okay? And if you click here, what you know, you have to log in first, obviously, but once you've logged in, click on create a design, okay? You can see there's all of these different uh, things in here that we've got, all the different sizes. We've got documents, personal education, marketing, also we've got events, ads, all these different things. And we can just click on one um, and it will load up a canvas of that specific size. And then we can pull in different things to actually design. Now, if there's something that you specifically want, I've got this uh, link on Sprout Social, uh, which was updated pretty recently, 23rd of April, 2019. And if you go through this, you're going to see all of the sizes that you need for all the different things in social media. So you've got profile pictures on Facebook, you've got you know business profile, cover photo, shared images, shared link, you know all these different things um, for Twitter, and that goes on and on and on and on. Okay, but just say we want just for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to go with the cover photo. 820 by 312. Now what we can do is if we're not quite sure what we want, we can scroll right to the top and click on custom dimensions on the right hand side. So I'm going to click on that and 820 by 312. So we just put in that 820, 312, and then we click on create new design. Usually opens it on a window and it opens up the canvas. And as you can see, that it's populated uh, the the canvas here okay and you can see on the right hand side it's probably worked out what i'm trying to design uh, because it's put in all of these templates here which are basically facebook covers okay so what i could do if i wanted um you know just say this is what i wanted and you can see this says free here a lot of them will say pay so you need to have upgraded but you can just grab this and drop it on there if you want Okay, I'm not going to do that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on upload on the left hand side. And then I'm going to click on upload an image. And I'm going to choose the aerial shot. 
and that's going to just take a, a brief second. You can see it's got these graphics here showing us that it's actually up, it's uploading. And then once it's done, it's done. So I'm just going to click that and I'm going to drag it there. And you can see that it's pulled it in. Um, and then once it's there, I can just simply pull out the corners. Okay. So I can pull out those corners and just keep moving it about until it's till I feel what I wanted to do. So just say that's that. So we can see that we filled the area. Once I'm happy with this, all I do is I go up to the top right hand corner and click on publish. And I go to download and I choose if I want PNG, JPEG, PDF, you know, that essentially it is it's that simple. Okay. Um, and I can just, you know, if that's not the right size, I want to change it to a different size. Just say I want to, I can go through what we've got here. So let's just have a look and go for this one that's called social media, which is just a square. So Instagram, Twitter, all those sorts of things. And I can do exactly the same. That's going to have all these examples of things that I could drag across and whatever. But we're talking about resizing images super quickly. So I'm just going to click on my uploads again. I've already got the image upload, so I'm just going to drag it. I'm just going to drag it. Drag it in here. And then again, I just reposition it. Pull out the, the corners. Reposition it so I can grab the corner again. Pull it out. And there we go. And then I can design it exactly how I wanted to. And again, I click download. So I've resized this image exactly how I want it. And of course, because this is Canva, I can go ahead and I can, if I wanted to, drag text, all things on top of these images. Okay, so that's, this is super perfect uh, for designing and resizing images because that's something that I know that a lot of people struggle with, which is resizing images. So all of these links to these free services will be beneath this video. Uh, if this was useful to you, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe and book for more videos coming in the future. I've been Lee. I'll see you later.